Whether you need to do a city skyline or anything else, using silhouettes is one of the best ways you can elevate one of your designs. And today, I'm going to show you how I do mine. Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. Rob here from Button Press Graphics and today I'm going to show you how to create a silhouette of any object you can think of. So without further ado, let's get started. So today what I'm going to be doing is using this picture and I am going to be tracing around this person in the center. Now if you want to use a picture like this, then you can get this picture off pexels.com like I did which is completely free to use I will leave a link in the description if you haven't got your image already imported you can click and drag from a separate window or you can come to file and import once you do this will bring up your file explorer so you can choose the file that you want to import now to begin this project we are going to be using the pen tool and we just want the silhouette of this person here now you might understand that when it comes to the contrast between the arm and the sky it's very very defined but the reason I chose this picture in particular is because the resolution is not very high and as you can see it is quite hard to differentiate the line between the background and his pants here so I'm going to show you what I would normally do to remedy that so firstly all you have to do is pick a starting point i think i'm going to start here where his watch is and then we just trace the path by clicking and slightly dragging and holding on to the left mouse button whenever we need to get a curve you do not have to be exact and if you get to this point and it is connected but the curve is going in the wrong way you can just simply right click and that will end it then you select the end of the stroke that you created and you can then carry on at whatever angle you want so i'm just going to run through this now and as i said you do not have to be exact it is just an approximation of what object you are trying to trace it is as simple as that now when it comes to drawing lines between contrasting parts like the legs of this guy here and the sky you can't see the lines very clearly there are a few things that you can do in order to make this a little bit easier for example you can use one of the filters by coming up to filter you can come down to color and as an example, I'm just going to select grayscale. Now with the grayscale box, if you've got live preview already ticked, you are going to be able to make dynamic changes to each of the values in this table until you get to the value that you would like. And by doing this, you can already see here that it is a little bit more distinguishable and you can revert these changes because it is only a filter. However, for me, I am just going to use guesswork. I'm going to look at this side. And then once I have got a rough approximation of where the line should go, I'm going to try and mirror that. Hello again, future Rob here. I forgot to mention something in the main footage so I thought I would come back and I would record this little video. What happens when you need to take out little spaces in between the object that you're trying to silhouette? For example, the hole in between the legs of this guy that I was doing in that project. Well, that is simple. You just use the pen tool, draw around the part that you want to get rid of, and then once you have, you can come to your select tool, select both of them, and then go to path, difference. And now you can see that it's one piece with that piece cut out of the middle of it. So I hope that clarifies. 
back to past Rob. Now once we have our image traced out, we can then use the select tool to get rid of the image. And what you're left with is an outline for what you were copying. In my case, the man stood with his arms out. And now if we simply select that shape, we can use the fill and stroke menu. If you haven't got the fill and stroke menu open on the right hand side, you can find it here on the top toolbar. But once you have, we can select a fill color, which will default to black. And as you can see, we now have a really good outline. From this moment on, it is very easy to use this silhouette in a full design of your choosing. As you can see on screen, I decided to have the silhouette that I just created stood in front of a glowing light so it could actually make it pop a little bit more. And then I went further and had him standing on something with a shadow being cast, etc, etc. The limitations to this are simply your imagination. So I suggest giving it a go and having a play around with it and seeing what you come up with. And if you're feeling confident, you can always send them to buttonpressgraphics at gmail.com because I would love to see them. But that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching my friends. I hope you found this informative. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button and of course dinging the bell to get notified of every time I upload. Until next time, I'm going to bid you all a fond farewell, say thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.